So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this home page right here using the Beaver Builder theme and plugin. In the previous video, I showed you how to set up the Beaver Builder theme to get the basic look of your site. So the basic colors and the fonts and just get the sort of basic outline of what the site's gonna look like. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to lay out and build a home page using the Beaver Builder plugin. If you wanna watch this entire tutorial series from the beginning, including how to set up the Beaver Builder plugin, you can click the eye icon at the top of the screen and that'll take you into the YouTube playlist that will walk you through every step of building a WordPress website using the Beaver Builder theme and Beaver Builder plugin. So let's go ahead and get started with this video and build our homepage using the Beaver Builder plugin. So the first thing we need to do on our dashboard is go to pages and then we need to create a home page. So I've already created a home page. I just made a basic page and then saved it with the name of home. And then we also um, should make a blog page. So let's go ahead and add a new page right now. So you can either click add pages over here by clicking add new under pages or we can click add new at the top up here. And then we're going to call this page blog. You might want to call it news or something else, but just something where you're going to put your posts on your page. And then all you have to do is just click publish. And then in the next settings, we're going to configure that blog page is going to automatically put the new posts that we create in the posts section on that page. So the next step is to go to settings and then reading. You can choose here to select a static front page. Or um, the second way of doing it is you can go over to Beaver Builder, click on um, visit site, or actually, I'm sorry, it won't be Beaver Builder, it'll be the name of your website up here. Um, and then click on visit site, and if we click on customize, we can go over to settings, and we can click static front page. And this is the same setting over here, and we can click a static front page. So the front page, we're going to create that home page that we created. It's going to change that right there. And then our posts page, we're going to create that, use that blog page that we created. And now all of our blog posts will appear on this page. And we don't really have to do anything else. That will happen automatically when we create new blog posts. And we click Save and Publish at the top. And then we can close out of this. And then let's go back to our dashboard to edit that home page. There's actually two ways we could edit that home page. We can either go back to our, our dashboard and go to Pages, All Pages and then click on home here and then click on edit and we can do launch page builder we're already on the front of our website we can just go over here to where it says page builder um, and start editing our page right here so the way that the um, Beaver Builder works and a lot of different WordPress page builders work is they give you these different rows and then you divide the different rows up into different columns so for this first row up here, I want to give it um, an image background. So to do that, you click on the little uh, wrench icon here to get to the row settings. And then we want to make sure that it's set to full width. And then the content width can be fixed. So that means that where you see these blue bars here, all of the content that we create will stay within those blue bars. But that the background that we're going to add to this will go for the full width of the window. So just scroll down um, under background type, select photo. And then you can go ahead and upload a photo. Go ahead and upload a file. And you want to make sure that the images that you select are web optimized um, and that they're a good size for this. So I'm using an 800 by 400 or 1440 uh, pixel picture here that's already been optimized. And I'm going to just do select photo. And there we go. Now you can see it's already um, the background for this section. You go ahead and click on save for that. And then in this uh, section here, I'm going to add some content. So we're going to add a title bar. And the title bar, so to add content using Beaver Builder, um, you just click the Add Content button up here. Pulls out this little uh, menu tray here. Then you select which kind of module you want to create. So the Headings module, which we're going to use for our title, is right here. We, all you got to do is just drag it in, and it's just that simple. So then you give your heading a name. So I'm just going to give it the name of the company. And then if you wanted that um, to be a link, you could select a link there. And then let's uh, change the alignment here to Center. Let's give it an H1 tag since it's probably going to be the most important thing on the site. And you can see yeah, the changes that we're making are happening um, in real time as we make them. We can move this window around any place we want to um, within the window to make all of the changes that we want. And we're going to use the default font since we already selected that in our settings, but we want to change the size to a custom size. So for this, I'm going to um, choose 150 picks just to make sure it's nice and big. Oops, not 105, 150. There we go, that looks good. 
Okay, and then we want to also make a background for this text here so it's easier for our viewers to read since the background that I've chosen um, is fairly busy. So we're just going to click Save This. There we go. Okay, so there we go to Column Settings. Okay, and then just choose a background color. Um, just drag this uh, little circle around, or you can choose the specific color you want. I'm just going to use a dark gray color like that. And then obviously we want to be able to see what's behind it, since I've got that um, awesome picture that I took. Um, so to change that, we're just going to change the opacity here. Let's start it with uh, 50% and see what that looks like. And what I really like about the Beaver Builder uh, plugin is that you can see the changes right as you're making them. So we make it a little bit darker than that. Let's try 75%. And you know what, let's actually make this just full on black. There we go. Okay, and then just click on save up here. And then the next thing we're gonna do is just add a little space uh, below this text here. So to do that, we're gonna click on add content. And then we're gonna add a separator right below that. And then you can choose um, how tall you want the separator to be. So I'm just gonna make this one 15 pixels tall. And then we don't actually wanna give it a color. So I'm just gonna make the opacity zero. And we'll click Save. And then let's add another piece of content. So we're going to add a button. I'm going to add that button right below um, that separator that we put in. And then you can choose what you want your button to say by changing the text here. Have it say Learn More. If we wanted to have an icon, you could select an icon for that. But in this case, I don't want to have an icon. And then you'd add the link where you want the button to go. Um, if you don't have a place, if you don't have a link yet, if you haven't created the page for it yet, but you still want to be able to see what the button's going to look like. I recommend just putting a hash in um, just as a placeholder for that. And then we can choose the style for the button. Um, click uh, over here. I'd actually rather have a black button for this. So we're going to go ahead and select a black background color. And then if you wanted to have a different hover color, um, you could select that here. So you can make it just like a lighter gray, for example. So when somebody hovers over it, it gets to be a lighter gray. don't think it does it yet, but after we save this, it should do it. And then let's also make the button um, be centered. So click on center. That's going to center it there on the page. And then let's make the button a little bit bigger. So I'm going to change the font size here. There we go. That's pretty good. And then if you wanted the corners uh, not to be round, if you wanted them to be square, you can just change this setting right here and then click on save. Let's let our audience know that there's more content to look at on this page down below by putting a little down arrow icon here. So to do that, we just click on add content. And then from advanced modules, select icon, and then just drag the icon where you want it to be. So we'll just click it right there. And then just scroll up to the top here and select the icon that you want to use. So in this case, I want to use uh, this basic down arrow right here. And we can see it, and it appeared right there. So we go to style to change um, the position of it and the size. So let's make the size 75. Let's make it a little bit bigger even. Let's make it 100. And then we'll change the alignment to center. There we go. Now it just shows up right there in the middle of our page. And just click Save. So you can see just how quick and easy it is to just design and lay out the page, and then you can see what you're doing in real time with Beaver Builder, something I really like about Beaver Builder. So let's move on to the next section of our site. Um, so the next section is going to have a different color background to differentiate it, so we're going to use a dark gray or black background. So to do that, we just click on Add Content here again, and we click on Row Layouts, and we just do one column, so we're going to have a one-column section for this. And then our website color is already black because we configured that in the settings. Um, so we don't really need to actually change the background color. We can just go ahead and start working. So let's go ahead and add a setting to this. So we're going to go back over here into our little tool tray here. I'm going to drag in a heading. We're just going to give it a name. Welcome to special effects. If you, again, if you wanted to have a link, you could add a, um, your link in right here. And then let's go ahead and adjust the settings. So it's already white because we already configured our settings for this to be white. Um, I'm going to change the alignment to center. And then let's change this to an H1 tag. Okay, and there we go. Now we can just click Save. And then let's um, add a little uh, flourish here underneath that. So we're going to go to Add Content. And this time we're going to add a icon group. So we're going to go to Advanced Modules, Icon Group. I'm going to add this in down here. And so these are going to put three icons in a row. So I'm going to use these little down arrow icons here. And if you wanted to have that link, you could do that. And just click Save. And then click um, Add an Icon to add another icon. We're going to add the same one. So that little 
down arrow right there and then click save and do another add icon edit icon So there we go. Now we got these three nice little icons as a little uh, flourish on our website. And then the next thing we're going to do is just add some text below that. Click Add Content, and then Text Editor. Just drag that in right there. And then I'm just going to copy and paste some text in here. And then if we want to adjust the uh, text size or some additional settings besides these, you click on this little button here. It um, toggles the toolbar, or what's sometimes called the kitchen sink, and we can just highlight this whole thing and change it. So let's just change this to an H3 tag, make it a little bit bigger. You can also change it by using the font size, and then we can click on save. I mean, I just love how quick and easy it is for the Beaver Builder to just make things that, you know, look great, um, and it's really intuitive to use. As you can see, it's super easy. So the next thing I want to do is I want to do these three background uh, section here, or this triple background section here with these buttons below it. So let's go ahead and see how you do that. So to do that, we're going to um, add some content. We're going to do row layouts. We're going to choose three columns. And then we want to change, uh, right off the bat, we want to change the column settings. So we just click on the little uh, wrench icon there, and we want the row, obviously, to be full width, but we also want the content to be full width. That way it goes all the way across. And then we're going to choose Save. And so the first thing I want to do is I want to add the images to the, to the background of these sections. So we're going to go ahead and click on the Edit Column button here, and then Column Settings. I'm going to scroll down here. I want to change the background type to Photo. I'm going to select a photo. Upload a file. I'm going to use this dirt picture, which is 800 by 700 or 700 by 800. And then the other thing we want to do is we want to select this uh, item here for equalized column heights. And it's going to make it so that each one of these sections um, is exactly the same height. So no matter which what kind of text we put in there or whatever um, we do with these sections, they're always going to stay the same height, and that's going to help make it look a lot better. So change this to equalized column heights, yes, and then click on Save. And then let's go ahead and add the image background for this middle column here. And you can see it's already changed the equalized column heights to yes. And then let's go ahead and change the background type to photo. I'm going to add a new photo in here. I'm going to use this fire photo, which is the same size. And then we're going to do this last column here. And we're going to scroll down, change the background to photo. Select the photo, upload the file. And then we're going to do save. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a button now to this section. So we're going to go to the basic modules here. I'm going to drag in a button. And I'm going to give the button a name. So we're going to just call it Dust, since this is the Dust section. If you want to have an icon, you could choose an icon. Then we're going to go over here to Style. I'm going to choose a background color. Actually, the background color is already great. Um, hover color should be good also. And the text color is fine because we already configured those settings when we changed our settings. And let's change the width to full width so it spans the full width of our section there. And then let's make the font size a little bit bigger. Let's change the font size to 40. And then let's get rid of those rounded corners. I think it would look better without that. So we'll make that zero for the rounded corners. And that's going to take the rounding away from the corners. Okay, so uh, that looks pretty good. So we're going to click Save. Oh, we've got to have a link um, in here. So since I haven't created the page for this yet, we're just going to put in a hash as a place marker, and then we're going to click Save. There we go. And now we're going to just duplicate this button, so it's got all of the settings that we created, um, and I'm going to put it into each one of these other sections here. So to do that, you just click on this little Duplicate button here, which looks like two pages next to each other, and then let's do it one more time. So just put your cursor over the little cross arrow here, and we can just drag it to um, each of these different sections. And then we can click on it to edit it and just give it a different name. So we'll call this one Fire. Now we still have got the hash in there for the link. So of course when you create your pages that those go to, you can add those in there. And then we'll call this last one Snow. There we go. And now to get some additional height, so the buttons are at the bottom of these sections, we need to add another separator. So we're going to go to Add Content, um, Basic Modules, and then Separator. And we'll add a separator to each one. Um, and we're going to, the height, the maximum height you can put in um, in a separator is actually only 99 picks, and we want it to be larger than that. I think I want it to be about 400. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the style from, um, we're going to change the opacity to zero, so it doesn't take up, you know, uh, so it doesn't have any look to it. And we're going to go over here to advanced, and going to tape the, change the margins here to 400. And then we're going to click save. 
And I'm just going to add that separator module by using the duplicate button here. I'm going to add that separate, whoops, <laughs> add that separate module, module just by dragging it over here. I'm going to do another duplicate and then just drag it over to the first one here. And there we go. Now we've got that look where we've got uh, three different backgrounds. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So to see what that looks like, we just click on done up here and we do publish changes or you can do save draft, but um, I recommend just doing publish changes. And you can see um, already very quickly, the look of our website um, is coming along nicely. We've got these full width sections here. We've got these buttons here. I mean, it's looking great and you can just see how easy and fast it is to build websites with Beaver Builder. I really love it. So let's add um, one more section uh, down below this here. I'm going to add a section um, with a the sort of deep red color. So to do that, we just click on Page Builder up here to get back to the Page Builder. I'm going to add a row layout, which is one column. Scroll down here and just drag it in below those items there. I'm going to change the background color this time um, under Settings. I'm going to do Background Color. I'm going to use this uh, red color from my color palette here. So I'm going to change the color here. I'm just going to paste in this color code that I've got. And I'm going to click Save. And then I'm just going to add some basic text in here. I'm going to add content. Drag in the text editor here. And then I'm just going to paste in some content that I've already written up. There we go. And you can see um, the text is dark here. And since we changed the settings in our theme already, uh, the color of our text is automatically white, so that's great. But you know what, let's go ahead and change the font size of this a little bit. Probably should change the font size in my settings. So it's a little bit bigger, so let's go ahead and make this 20 pics. There we go. And then click on Save. So that looks great. And then let's go ahead and add another row uh, down below this. And we're going to do something a little cool. We're going to add um, a little colored triangle down below that so that it looks like this uh, section here is pointing to the next section when actually the color triangle is in the next section. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to do add content, row layouts. We're going to do a one column row right below this. And black is fine, which is our default uh, background color because we already set it. And let's go ahead and add that triangle here that looks like this section is pointing down to that section. So to do that, um, we actually use a photo. So I made a little triangle photo in Photoshop. I'm just going to drag that right in here. Go ahead and do select photo. So this triangle photo right here, which is just a down arrow, it's 150 by 100 pics. Um, it's a PNG, so it's got a transparent background. We'll do select photo. And then what we want to do is under advanced here, we want to change the top margin to zero. So that way it clips up um, next to this top row. We're going to click save. And then actually in this row here, we also need to remove the padding so that it just um, snaps right up in there. So to do that, we just click on the row settings here. And under advanced, we click on the padding top and we change that to zero. Click save and check that out. So now it looks like this top section is pointing down to our, our, bot, our section right below that. So that's pretty neat. Okay, so let's add a separator down below there just to keep that sort of distinction um, there. So we're going to go to Add Content. I'm going to do a separator. I'm going to make the height 99. I think that should be enough. And this, we're going to change the opacity here to zero so we don't see it. And then let's add some more content right below that. Add Content. And then we're going to add a heading, put that right here. I'm going to just call this changes in real time. And we don't need a link, but let's make it quite a bit bigger. So we'll make it an H1 tag. And you know what, actually, um, let's make it even larger than that. So to do that, we need to pick a font. So we can go with the light, L Lato font that we have here. And then I'm going to make it, uh, let's make it regular. And then let's change the font size here also to custom. And let's try 150 and see what that looks like. Oh, that's way too big. Let's try just uh, just 100 on there. And I love the fact that you can actually see what you're doing as you're doing it. I, I can't, I can't, can't get over that. It's just, it's one of the few builders in WordPress where you can do that. And it's really makes building websites much faster. Let's go ahead and make the alignment center on this. And then we'll click Save. All right, and then we'll add a little uh, bar underneath that. So to do that, we're going to use the separator again. So we're going to add content. 
separator and we'll just put that in right there and let's make it a little bit thicker than that let's try three picks wide there we go that looks great and let's make it a little bit darker than that too make it like a darker gray there we go and then we'll just click on save and then we're going to add um, three columns right below that with some text so to do that we're just going to click on add content row layouts and we'll do three columns and then we'll just do a text module in each one. So we'll do text editor here. And paste that in. And click save. And then if you want to, you can actually just duplicate this and drag it over. And then duplicate this one and drag it over. And then if you had different text that you wanted to put in there, you, all you got to do is just click on it and then change the text. And you know what? I just want to change one more thing here real quick, which is just want to make the separator a little bit smaller. So let's make that 50. So there we go. So there's a great looking website that we made with Beaver Builder. You can see how fast and easy it is to do. Um, the last thing we need to do is just save our settings. So we click on Done, Publish Changes. And there we go. A great looking homepage built with Beaver Builder. As you can see, it's super easy to do. In the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and build our menu out. Um, we're going to add a couple of other pages, just dummy pages, um, so that we can see how to build our menu. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up a menu using WordPress. It's really easy. You can go ahead and click on the next video button to do that. And for more tips and tricks and reviews of how to build websites as easily as possible, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit me at realwebsitehints.com. Thanks for watching.